most famous physical therapist on the internet. Hi, I'm Bob Shrub, physical therapist. Brad Heineck, physical therapist. And together we are the most famous physical therapist on the internet. In our opinion, of course, All right, Bob. let's get going, Brad. Okay. Today we're going to talk mm. about the absolute best exercise for sciatica and a herniated disc. Wow. Well, I, I mean, mm -hmm. I, we're not being exagger exaggerating here, are we? No, it is. Uh, this is, if this you, is proven. Yeah, and if you had a choice of what you're going to do with somebody, this would be it, right? This I mean, would be my first try, yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And it's the McKenzie approach, or McKenzie exercise. Uh, invented by Robin McKenzie, he, he invented this in the, he came up with this in the 60s. Right. Mm -hmm. And basically he discovered is that by doing a cons, um, doing a, a certain movements of exercises, I'm sorry I got a little distracted by a dog back there. <laughs> but by doing certain exercises you can actually centralize pain. Centralize, what, yeah. what are we talking about? We're gonna show about? you here okay. right now. So okay. this is for people who have back pain with associated pain, numbness, tingling down their leg. Yeah. So, should so, I stand? Or? Yeah, watch you stand. Can, Here, should can, I just do this? Okay, there we go. Oh, All wow. right. Look at this. So with, when you have sciatica, quite often you're going to have pain in the back, and then it travels all the way down the leg. What he discovered is by doing certain exercises, you can actually make that pain go out of the leg and back into the back. And eventually, it's going to go away if it goes into the back. Right. So what happens is when we're doing exercise, what you want to see first is that maybe it goes out of the calf. Of course, I'm having trouble right away, Brad. Wow. Okay. Oh, that feels better. Yeah, so it goes out of the calf. All the symptoms go out of the calf. Then we do some more exercises, and now it goes out of the thigh. Okay? We do some more exercises, and it goes out of the butt. And it's maybe, it may be even a little worse in the back, but eventually this goes away too. This all goes away. And it's important so, to mention that's the order you want it to come in. You right. don't want it to get leave here but still be in the cab. Yeah, the, the worst sign with somebody when you have sciatica is that when this goes away and this gets worse right, or stays right. around. That's it, not what we want to see. And the, the prognosis is if you can do the exercise that we're going to demonstrate and the leg pain improves quickly, it's a very good sign that you're going to have good long-term success right. with this. And we're going to show you at the end of this, we're going to show the exercise now, the basic McKenzie. Right. Um, um, at the end of the, this uh, video, we're going to show you then a disc, uh, what, what happens with the disc when we're doing these exercises. Sure. So you can kind of have an idea. I'll do this. You want me to do this? Oh, one? go ahead, Bob. Sure. Yeah, you're, you're, you're better at this than so I. So what you're going to first start by doing when you have this is with, when you have a McKenzie therapist, they're going to tell you to, to start by laying, just laying prone like this. Now, for some people, even this they can't do. Right. This, this will even make their pain worse. So they actually have to start with a pillow underneath them. Right like that. And, and then you can lay here more comfortably or right. comfortably. Sometimes two pillows. I've even had to put three pillows. Right. Yeah. And a lot of times I'll put the pillows this way instead of this way, but you do whatever works. Yeah, I've done it. I've done it both ways, Brad. Mm -hmm. So then you, you want to lay that way for five minutes or 30 seconds or whatever. And then you see if you can pull the pillow away and get like this. Right. Okay. And then eventually, you know, you can try for 30 seconds or so. There's no magic to the, to the time of this, but then you eventually you might get up onto your elbows, which is a prone prop. Right. And this is assuming you only do this is if the leg pain and symptoms improve, particularly below the knee or right. the furthest away. If they don't improve, at least they don't get worse. Right. Right. Um, but we're hoping that you might get a little improvement even. Sure. You might start feeling less tingling or less pain down there. Then you're going to go progress to the actual exercise where you're going to put your hands underneath your shoulders and you're going to do, I would say, a half press up first, wouldn't you, Brad? Yeah, whatever is tolerated, I like to say. And if you do five or ten of them by the fifth or tenth one, it's getting easier. The pain in the leg or the symptoms in the leg, I should say, because it could be numbness or tingling, improves. And you can get a little bit higher. Then you can go even higher. What you're not going to do here is this. Right. You're, you're looking to get an arch in the back. You've got to get the arch. That's, I, I that's tell critical. My, yeah, I tell my patients, imagine there's a belt going around your waistline, holding your waistline to the table or the floor. And eventually, sometimes that's what we do to people. Yep, yeah, that's true. So, again, they do half the press-ups, and then eventually you're going to see if you can do full press-ups. Right. And most of you won't be able to do that because your pelvis is going to start to come off the bed because you've got to eventually work up to that. Right. And, you know, as an exercise, you can do this three to five times a day, ten times. Mm -hmm. um, I, I've even had people do it as many as every hour. 
Sure. If, if they can do it. If, if things are going time. well with it. Yeah, and if things are going well. Now, what you should know, though, is that quite often it doesn't go that well. Quite often there has to be little adjustments that right. have to be made, and that's where you're going to need to find a McKenzie trained therapist. Sure. And we're going to show you that in the next video, how mm. to do that. Okay. But right now, why don't we show Brad what we're doing. Why don't you want to grab sure. the, the cups there? So there is a McKenzie trained therapist throughout the world. Uh, we counted at 38 Eight countries. countries throughout yep. the world. And uh, that's how you can find if they live near you so you can get one. And uh, there's, these therapists are good and they're experienced. Right. So we've got the lower vertebrae here. Mm -hmm. You want to show it on here, Brad? Sure. So mm -hmm. you want to run up to the yeah. camera just show real quick? Okay, so we're looking if we have an injured disc causing the symptoms down the leg. This red disc, you don't have a red disc in your back, but that is a model of a di bulging disc right there. Can you see that, Lonnie? Okay, we need to get that bulge back in because that bulge is pinching the nerve causing the symptoms down the leg. So generally what you have, again, this would be L4 and L5, the two lower vertebrae of the back. And in between it, you have the disc, which is you know, it's it's actually provides shock absorption. It's right. It's, it's not a very it's not a rigid uh, structure. It's actually pliable, similar to this model. Right. And what happens is whenever you bend forward, and and this that's one of the McKenzie questions they'll ask you to see if you're, it's appropriate for you. Uh, when you bend forward, does that often give you trouble? Right. You know, and does that bring on your symptoms? Or does sitting? Or does sitting? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And what you happens is, what you'll see is when, if you keep bending forward, bending forward, it's, it's fine on a healthy disc, but on a disc that's starting Ooh, to, yeah. That's a good, good example. It's starting to weaken or get, are you picking this up, Lonnie, by the way? It, uh, a disc that's starting to weaken can actually bulge or herniate towards the back, and there's nerves back there. Right. And it's hitting those nerves and it's sending pain down. So conversely, the idea is if you bend back this way, mm. You're pushing that <laughs> bulge back in. Yeah, I like to see that. So Bob. you push back like this, yep. it takes the pressure off the nerve. So that's a very simplified version of what's going on, but that's hopefully what is going to happen right. to you. Right. And, and again, you know, you can try these things, but you really may need a therapist in, in the end to help you out. Yep, so. exactly. So we're, they're going to show them that video on how to find one if there was one yeah, we'll near do, them. We'll do that one next. Oh, yeah, next. <laughs> All right, thanks a lot. Wow.